appreciate that the tourney continues to get slightly more professional every stream. <laughs> Have you actually been watching, damn it? <laughs> On oh, the blue right, side, ladies and gentlemen. Professional content. <laughs> Gabe knows. Jeff Kills, playing as Pav Daddy himself. Christopher? And... On the red side, we have Stormy Style. Yeah. Playing. Yeah. Forge. Yeah. He is a sergeant. Yeah. 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 So he is going to be going into a leader build because he just went Jackrabbit and he has a generator second. Yep. That's true. That's pretty standard Forge Daddy. Yep. Plays. It just doesn't forge, flow off the tongue forge at Daddy all. Osos. Yeah, it just doesn't. I don't know. What would you call it? Forge Father? No, no, it's Pav, Pav, Daddy, not not Forge Daddy. I know, but I'm, I mean, I'm like, I'm trying to make sure he doesn't feel left out, you know. But I don't know, I don't know what I could do to Forge, Forge, uh, Forge, fucker, Forge. <laughs> so you like that one? I was gonna go with Father Forge. Father Forge? Oh, I kind of like that actually. Hold yeah, up, Father hold Forge. up, wait a second. Yeah, That's Father pretty Forge. good. That's I, I was just being an asshole, but that was pretty good, Chris. All right, so <laughs> Father Forge here is gonna go in for some Father Forge hog plays. Daddy. Father Forge is playing as Pav Daddy. So we're going to see what happens here. Armory guaranteed or your money back. Armory guaranteed or your money back. <clears throat> Stormy. Uh, armory. Stormy. Uh, build your armory. <laughs> Stormy. 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 Armory. Are armory. you going generator yeah, nope. fifth? What the actual fuck, dude? Excuse me? <laughs> No, he's not. What do you do? He is? No! Oh, my God. I owe all of you money now. Shit. Okay. All right. What money, David? Well, Gabe's no. the only person who's actually Strike! spent money, so I have to I have to give it back to Gabe. Yeah. Okay. Right, Gabe, rip, give it back to God. Yeah, yeah. Give it back I, to God. I, I would appreciate my $100 back. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can only give him half those. Well, the stuff. thing is, like, yeah, exactly. Fifty percent of that went right to Twitch. <laughs> Twitch already took. He's a damn right middleman. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, don't you hate that? <laughs> the money's lost. Sorry, Gabe. It's so stupid. What do they do? I don't know. Nothing. They provide Post. a platform for us. You know. That's it. Yeah. But it's it's for exposure. <laughs> Just don't make fun of thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> yeah, Let me yeah. go put your name on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're supposed to talk about this Let me game. Get your name on the board. <laughs> yep, we're supposed to talk about the game. Currently okay, going so on. generator Storm fifth play for Stormy currently. Style. Stormy Style actually yeah. avoiding. Sorry, didn't mean to completely undermine you, but get the bus just drove Fine. over you. If you take a look here at the generator, he didn't upgrade that in order to get Tech Two a little more quickly, and he's saving up a lot of his supplies. So I'm assuming we're going to see some serious Warthog play. I, I'd say uh, I'm indeed. pretty damn confident about that actually. If we fly across yeah, the map, we were also confident about the armory. I was confident uh, about the armory, and I already owe people money. So if we just continue along here and just sweep that under the rug, uh, Jeff kills going grunt squad, just doing <laughs> a uh, a pretty standard pavium play. This is another one I like to do. I either go complete grunts or complete choppers, and just try to mess people up. In this situation, making a lot of grunts moving them out across the map, no problemo. Says Jeff kills. Gonna be triple pumping. We do have a uh, going in the garage right now. Yeah, and the chopper did spot that already? as well. Yeah, chopper did spot the garage as well. So he knows what's coming. He knows he's already tech two. That means that mentally he needs to uh, get aggressive essentially because he's got a small window of opportunity here before there's anything for Stormy. No forge hog, now, no ward hogs or anything. Yeah. So now Jeff is building his expo immediately here just because he sees that Stormy just went straight into tech two. That's a very good play because. Uh, since Stormy is going up to Tech 2, he's not going to have any early units to attack anything. Mm -hmm. And it's just like Jeff saying, oh, hey, you're not going to attack me? All right, I'll just build a base so that it's harder to attack me later. Mm -hmm. Correct, yep. It's a, it's a very common thing as well. I learned I learned that one from StarCraft 2. So. <laughs> <laughs> from from you, specifically. Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Are you, are you saying right. I'm a teacher? Uh, I'm saying you're good at showing people how to play. Oh. But anyways, oh. oh my god, we have a uh, Forge Hog about to come out here in a couple seconds from yep. Stormy Style, as well as Jeff Kills is getting hit by the first Warthog. It looks like he's just gonna send all of his Warthogs over there. He has the rally point right in front of the. Yeah. Yep, they're coming in two at a time, just like the Ark. 
I mean, that's what we're playing on, so that makes sense. Oh, oh, that was an 800 IQ. Oh, comment. he is building engineers oh, shit. and hunters here. Not cringy at all. Nope, not at all. That's uh, that's what we're here for. Cringe. <laughs> the cringe. Slightly above average. I would dare say, <laughs> if that hunter gets to the garrison, it is unstoppable against all those warthogs. Warthogs that right. are forced to back up, seize one, seize one hunter, and just pieces out. Jeff kills Matt, Gr or I'm yeah. sorry, Mass Grunting just kind of cuts off immediately and just starts producing other units. We got uh, actually Pavim himself as well as some engineers coming out. Oh, and the burnout uh, two or three doesn't really matter because it doesn't hit the back bases anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's uh, using that right here on his base. Looks like he's just killing off the grunts as he can. Right. Trying to get as much of a lead as possible against Pav Daddy, who eventually will get ahead in everything because of burnout. Because of burnout. Slowly yep. creeping his Burnout's way Burnout's too OP. I miss, uh, I miss the old Burnout 3. It's okay, everyone it. does. I think everyone does, yeah, a little bit. Good times. But now, we have an engagement going on at the Expo. Oh, that's a lot of Warthogs. Ooh, that's good a, uh, actual Engineer Shield as well. No, the Engineer Shield just walked away from the base. Oh, oh the scatter bomb. They're actually targeting the base, though. They will oh, be. There we go. go. Now that they're targeted and they have the shield, they will be protected oh. for a second. Big ribs coming down, though. Yes, they need to decide. Need to split those Engineers a little bit, if possible. Pavium shots will be doing a lot of uh, splash damage on all of these Warthogs <laughs> here. Splash damage. He's trying to Pavium on the main base, but he can't. Because yeah. <laughs> the buildings are in the way. <laughs> there we go. There's the heal right now. All engineers need to be targeting this base. All engineers are not targeting this base. Ultramine. Oh my god, Ultramind Drop is a fantastic play there. We are out of engineer shields though. There goes the shroud cloaking the base. What are you going to do? <laughs> that was actually a really fun wow. defense from Jeff. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. That was great. Especially because uh, Pavium for like half that battle was not healing the base and he was just struggling with the micro of trying to get the Pavium in the front. Yep. As well as the uh, units in front attacking at the exact same time. So he's going around. It looks like he might be trying to take a third base here. Yep. Yep, he is indeed taking a third base. Forge can do that with rolling economy. Uh, pads are easier to upgrade. The more upgrades you can get for pads, the easier it is to hold them because they get more health and they give out more resources. Yeah, Stormy actually upgrading so. his is natural as well. So he's gonna be he's gonna be having a good defense here in a second. But I'd still say the the third base is like a, it's a desperation play, but he shouldn't have much of a problem pulling it off. Actually, uh, now that I think about it as well, Lich timing is near perfect. Jeff is Jeff is sending this out at perfect timing for the Lich. He's gonna go scout this right now. It'd be a complete waste of a lich on this unupgraded base. Uh, I guess like a, in a situation where he needs to make it happen, he can do it. But honestly, if he just sent, uh, like, say, a couple marauders over there, he can pick this base because otherwise Stormy's going to have to be completely out of position. What I like to do uh, when I get my lich timing, I usually send one marauder to one base and one marauder to another, and I pick between the two of them, depending on where the army is. Nice little nightingale rally So he does have that nightingale... <laughs> yep, rip that nightingale. He just yep. got immediately killed. Yeah, Stormy, you do not have a list. So he is just leaving that uh, that Marauder over to slowly destroy that base, mm -hmm. which is a really good play because he doesn't want to focus on just one Marauder. He wants to focus on multiple units. Right. But at the same time, he's doing damage to that base, and he's going to push up to that next base at the same time. Right. The Ultramines are back up for Jeff. But... Uh, he might have scatter bomb back already. So that'll be a huge play if he can get a scatter onto that. Yeah. Looks like we have him backing up, going forward, trying to do some smock. He's picking off all the red bar units. We have a res drones coming down at the same time. Yep. The uh, anvil round hitting some of the hunters. Yep. Will... Nice rain oh. of fire as oh, well. Great position on that actually as well. And the target does does rain go fire, down. Yeah. Forchog gets dropped immediately in that situation. All oh, these units man. just got <laughs> eradicated. Oh my god, GG. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> that was a complete army wipe. Woo. Oh my god, Stormy, Stormy just watched his army pop go from 60 to 15 in like a second. And he's like, yeah, that's it. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, he's like, no, man. I can't fight that anymore. Wow. What a that fantastic, a turn of events. fantastic little engagement there. That was awesome.